In this tutorial, we are going to teach you all of the primary functions of Excel by creating a sales report and sales forecast step by step. Through the creation of this report, you should become familiar with the main functions of Microsoft Excel. Step 1. Pause the video and enter the content into Excel exactly as shown here. Step 2. Now activate cells A2 through D2 and click on the Merge and Center command. Step 3. While the merged cell A2 is activated, click on the Fill Color command and select the color of your preference. Step 4. Now select cells A3 through D3, cell A12, and use the fill color command filling the cells with a color that will go well with the previous color you chose. Step 5. Now select cells A4 through A11 and again fill the cells with the color of your choice. Step 6. Now in cell B12 use the sum formula to find the total sales for fiscal year 2011. Step 7. Now activate cell C12 and click the auto sum command which can be found on the ribbon in the formula tab. Step 8. In cell D4 enter in the following formula equals C4 divided by B4 in parentheses minus 1 and then press enter. This formula is solving the percentage increase or decrease in sales for each item over the past year. Now make sure that cell D4 is still activated. Look at the bottom right of the thick border around cell D4 and you will see a small square box. Click on the box and drag it all the way down to cell D12. What you just did was use autofill to insert the same formula into each relative cell. This is obviously much more efficient than typing the formula into each cell manually. However, this can only be used when the formulas are referring to the same relative cells. Step 10. Now select cells E2 through E3 and click on the Merge and Center command and then while the cell is still activated click on the wrap text command which is located right above the merge and center command also fill the cell with color to distinguish the sales forecast from the sales report step 11 now select cells D4 through D12 and click on the percentage which is located in the drop down menu of the number format command in the number group on the ribbon under the home tab you can also use the increase or decrease decimal button to change the decimal places. Step 12. Now in cell E4 enter equals C4 asterisk and then 1 plus D4 in parentheses. This is a simple formula to make a sales forecast for fiscal year 2013 based on the percentage rate of sales increase or decrease from fiscal year 2012. After you have entered the formula, use the AutoSum feature to drag the formula down to cell E12. Step 13. Now select every other row in the report that contains numbers and fill those cells with a light color. This is done to make the report easier to read. Step 14. Now select all the cells that contain numbers, not including the percentages and then format the numbers to currency by selecting currency from the number format command. Step 15. Now select the entire report and then click on the down arrow on the border command and click all borders and then while the entire report is still selected click on thick box border. Step 16. Now hold your cursor over column letter A. Right click and click on insert from the shortcut menu. This will insert a new column of cells.